This is a little demo of how to run with the debugger, or specifically the ADF debugger. So first, maybe what I should do is just show you um, the application actually running. So what we have here is a flow. There's a bounded flow that is being called. Click on it. Then we filter some data with a method execution, and then we show data um, in another page. So that's kind of the flow. Um, let's see how the application actually looks like. So we see a list of houses, we select a house, let's say house number 70, okay, and that's kind of the ID, and then on this page we'll see information about house number 70. So that's how the application looks like when it actually works. Okay, now I'm going to do what you shouldn't be doing, which is I'm going to break the application. Um, so specifically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and modify the parameter that is being passed to this okay over here from being ID to being HAD okay so we change this and now let's um, debug and see how we can find that something is broken and where it's actually broken so let's go back um, to our ADFC config and again debug our flow. So first of all, here's the page coming up. We select a house, let's say number 66, and oops, we get something which is not what we expected to get. Okay, so we see that there's an error. Let's start to figure out why. Let's go into JDeveloper, um, and you can see here there's a page calling another task flow. So another problem is actually in this task flow, so maybe we should set a breakpoint on this task flow, okay, um, and I'll show you what happens now when you're invoking the same flow. Okay, go back to the start, and let's choose house number 64. Okay, you can see JDeveloper is now flashing, which means you can go in here because we're inside a breakpoint. So we hit this breakpoint over here. So let's see what we can see here. Um, you can see the regular and debugger information in these windows. Here, let me minimize this a little bit. Okay. But the more interesting thing is actually to look into something called the ADF data. And this is tied into a window here called the ADF structure. Okay. And when you look over here, you can actually see where you are inside your application. So you can see that you started from the ADF config, and when you click on the ADF config, you can see the ADF data is changing to show you information about this file and what's going on in there. One of the interesting aspects there is something called page flow scope, and you can see, for example, parameters that are being passed in this page flow scope. So for example, this parameter called HAD in this environment, in this scope, is set to 64. So I know that the parameter that I'm passing from here to here is set to 64. Okay. Um, what's next? Um, let's go in here. So we can actually double click in here and we can see there's a filter op uh, operation and then there's the showing of the data. So I can also set a breakpoint on this filtering. Okay. So let's continue running. Okay, and then I hit this breakpoint because this is the entry point, default activity, and now I'm in here inside my flow, okay, and I can actually see I'm inside this filter operation. Okay, so first of all, inside the flow, okay, so I'm at the flow level, this bounded task flow, okay, I can see there's a bounded, uh, there's a page flow scope variable also for this flow, which is called ID. And it's set to 64, which means that I got the parameter value correctly from the calling um, flow. So I had this flow, called this flow, and now when I'm inside this flow, I see the parameter is indeed 64. So maybe we should see if this parameter is being passed to this method in here. So to do this, we can actually do double click to get to the page def. And then we can set breakpoints on this specific binding. We can set it before and after the execution. So let's just keep the after execution and run. Okay, and now we hit this breakpoint. Okay. And again, I can go in here 
and I can see ADF related data. At this point I might actually switch to seeing the actual data. And I know that we're invoking a method here, so let's go and see what's inside the method. Okay. And uh, I can see the action, and I can also see the arguments being passed to the action. And I can see there's an argument called ID. And if I expand it, I can see that the value is null. So that's probably our problem. The value that we passed to this method is null. And um, we can actually see the expression that is being used in here. Okay, so page flow score page ID. Um, if you double click on it, you can actually change it if you want to. Okay, let's just copy it for a second and use another special thing in the ADF debugger, which is the EL evaluator, where I can paste this and click evaluate and see that indeed the value here is null. Okay, but then I can remember that when I looked inside here, okay, at this level, and I looked at the um, ADF data, okay, the name of the parameter was ID. So maybe what I need to do is change instead of HID here, I can change it to ID and evaluate. And now I can see this indeed will return 64.